My name is Sharif Atif Fahim. I'm from Alexandria, Egypt. I'm, uh, I'm a lecturer at, uh, at Alexandria School of Theology, and I'm also the general director of uh, El Sura Ministries. El Sura is about spreading the reformed doctrines in, in Arabic to the Arabic speaking world, starting from Egypt, the Middle East, and anyone who can speak Arabic through articles, books, seminars, conferences in all means yeah, that we can use. Religion is big in Egypt. This church is the oldest Protestant building all over Egypt. And this means that the Protestant presence or existence in Egypt is from the 19th century. And I believe things started well with the doctrines of reformation. They, they were here in, in Egypt. But through time, they, they were fading. The idea of grace is absent. That's why sermons are moralistic. So we would do all the religious acts, like prayer, fasting, in order to please Him. The decisive factor is, uh, is in your hands. Man can do something. There's something good in you. It's me and God, we work together to achieve something. It's, it's man-centered theology. It's man to be saved, man to have a better life, man to enjoy his life more. The idea that everything is for God's glory is not there. And even if you start to preach it, people will start to resist it. When man becomes man-centered, he's hurting himself. He's doing the worst thing to himself. He's destroying his life. The only way our lives would be meaningful if we, if we become God-centered. We have, let's say, thousands of churches. Less than five are truly reformed. Uh, if you ask me about preachers, I, I am not sure that we can find 30 or 40 reformed preachers. This gives you some idea of the books that you already published. The first time I heard about uh, this book, Providence, by John Piper, was through Reg Denham. He said, well, there is a massive volume by John Piper coming about Providence. And we would like to see this book in all languages. And we'd like to see a surah publishing this in Arabic. And I was so excited. The book Providence will be a kind of a, an answer to the very man-centered theology which is going around here. This book from the beginning to last is crying with God's glory. Shows how he is able, how he is loving, how he is wise. And uh, it shows that um, all, all responsible creatures like Satan, uh, sinful people, everyone, they're still in his hands. God is not just uh, sitting uh, or walking in heaven saying, what shall I do? What shall I do? Man is in control. No, it's not like that. So this book is answering such claims. But I think what would be unique is how Piper is mixing between biblical insights with practical experiences. To put all these together from a pastoral theologian, I think this is the treasure in that book. I want to bring Providence book to the art world to enable teachers pastors and leaders to understand this very important doctrine.
who knows what God may, may do with this, that people would start uh, getting excerpts from it, teaching from it, writing some posts on social media from it. Uh, now we have a complete resource covering all, all these ideas in one place. So I hope and pray that this book would be a kind of a big turning point. We would only be satisfied when we, when we see and we realize that God is in the center and that God is doing something much greater than we think of. It's, it's about uh, His kingdom and His glory.